Should we go? Anne's walking down the hall. Should we just continue then? Yeah, why not? Might as well. All right. Come oh, this, this is politics anyway. Yes, I'll, here, I'll... here she comes. This is politics. I'm going to go take a nap. I'll see you guys at 8.30. <laughs> oh. Get a, well, I, I'm tired. I went to a show last night. And so Coulter I could, makes it I, fun. I could use a nice nap. Which so show did you go to? You guys enjoy, you know, this. And, wow, I'll enjoy the legs, though. Jesus Christ. Leg, legs. Legs yes. for days. I saw MGMT. How are they? I, I, I love the band. I mean, the Radio City? Yeah, I felt yeah, very, she is. Yeah, I felt very out of place. It's a very young audience, but Hello. I love their shit, and the show was really good last night. Hi, Ann. Hello. What's going on? Ann Coulter. How are you? Dressed I, for TV. I like this. Yes, I am. Wow. <laughs> sorry, we're, sorry we all look like slobs. I know. It's radio. We, we would have put our TV clothes on today, too, if we knew she was. Wearing a dumb T-shirt with stuff on it. No, you guys look <laughs> fabulous, and you're much better than the liberal I was just on with. Oh, who is that? I don't why they keep putting me on with this homeless woman? And I said to the to the producer, "Could you get her resume? <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you just bringing in a homeless person to debate me? Because a homeless person does have more on the resume, and I know liberals are." Our chickens, and they won't they won't debate me. So we're running out of options. Mm -hmm. But still, come on, seriously. Who was she? Something. Someone you've something. never heard of, Tanya Acker. And no, I do not know what community college she went to. <laughs> she has worked for no one. She has written nothing. Where was she? Like TV, radio? Uh, um, CBS Early Show. That's why you're seeing me here in the oh, middle of the night. Right. This is like the middle of the night. I was so excited I could do this show because I was getting off at the yeah. crack of dawn. <laughs> Early. Normally, I'm asleep now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got God. your uh, email. Was, I was driving Didn't home you and Ann drink or something together? I, saw I don't drink. We went out oh, to... Yes, uh, we did. After, uh, what were we yeah. doing? Red Eye or something? Yeah. yeah. You like that was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a blast. You like to tip them back after you I do like some Ann. debating? She, 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 <laughs> she I can keep a couple, a couple of beverages. Yeah. After. Right There's on, There's nothing man. wrong with that. You do I'm a show. You're laughing. Wrong. <laughs> you had a good time. I just want to know what her poison is. That's all. A little bit of everything. Yeah, pretty much anything. Really? Yeah, and which reminds me of a drinking point I'd like to make. They always say that mixing alcohol is what gets you drunk, but whenever you hear people say this, you know, it'll be like, I started with a Bloody Mary, and then I had some wine, and then I had three beers, and yeah. it's not the mixing. <laughs> it's that you've had so much alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter what you're drinking. If you're drinking all day and all night, you're going to So are you like coming crap. to my um, debate with James Carville? I hear about this. Uh, I just heard about it. Actually, Jimmy just uh, Atlantic City. plugged it. We just gave it a Atlantic plug, right? Atlantic City. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. Now that's going to be... You live in New Jersey. It's probably uh, a short drive no, for I'm, you. No, I'm Long Island. Oh. It's a yeah. mansion in Long Island. But, but Atlantic City is, <laughs> is my second home. <laughs> I do tend to go down there a few times. <laughs> yeah, the Red Eye Boys are coming. Are they? You should yeah, go that's down, gonna, I go down should. there. Check that it out. That is going to be a good one, man. Uh, you, you've been on shows with him before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, what, what do you think of his, um, his whole style? He of tends debating? to lean left. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of his debating style? Uh, he's a little um, I d I don't, gruff. I think he is like the um, Robin Williams of political commentary. Oh, he talks shit. fast, so people think they're supposed to laugh, but <laughs> yeah. nothing God, is I've funny. Said this for years. Wow. I've right? Said you got to be years. funny. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Uh, my phone. I'll make it a tie. Oh. Thank and you're you. Like, and you're like, wait, that means nothing. It's not funny. And everyone's rolling, going, wow, off the cuff. He's so funny. Stream of consciousness. What? <laughs> Tell a joke. For God's sake. It's not funny. And he, he's the same way, yeah. Yeah. And, and he's really odd. when he, Before he shaved his head, it was odd. But now he's got that slick, like, alien look to him. He really ha looks like an alien. He looks like they're going to find, like, hooker driver's licenses, like, in a little <laughs> compartment in his house somewhere. <laughs> oh, they were all they missing. Call them souvenirs. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Little mementos. He's not going to try to punch you, right? Seems uh, like I don't think he'll pull the Rick Lazio move. No. No. Seems I like think that I'm type safe. of guy, <laughs> if he gets frustrated enough, that he might like strangle a bitch. Or yeah, something. yeah. I'd like I to see I don't that. Trust though. him. Uh, <laughs> what kind of what kind of subjects do you think you two are going to? Uh, you know, touch I have on? no idea. It's a yeah. one-hour debate. I'm. I mean, it's Atlantic City, so I'm sure it's supposed to be fun. Presumably, the yeah. election. I'm sure. Yeah, the election. Of, of course, all I will be talking about is the mosque because yes, I am so enjoying the position the Democrats have decided to take. Oh. Yes, it's fantastic. <laughs>
realistic when you watch it and go, what What are they thinking? It's Although Harry, Harry, well, Harry Reid and I think Howard Dean, I was surprised, actually said it was, I think, important. Harry Harry I was actually is, very surprised he did that. He's trying so hard to not lose his job. All he does is say ethnic <laughs> things. Yeah, yeah. The fucking he's, the Puerto Ricans, the blacks, he's like offended two big groups already. And now he's yeah. like the Muslims. All right, you get in with them, too. <laughs> yeah. well, fuck yourself. Everybody who's kind of like Harry Reid. He hates everyone. <laughs> It's uh, it, it is looking grim, and they just the Democrats keep like really tripping up uh, more and more as November comes around. Yeah, yeah, really I think the amazing. problem is when your entire um, you know advisor squad came from Zabars. No, that you're not going to get you know the pulse of the American people. No, no. Oh, mosque at Ground Zero, that's fine. They are so out of touch with what <laughs> the people are feeling and thinking. They go completely against it. And think that they're they're patting each other on the back like yeah look at what we're doing yes we're changing the country we're but yeah it's a whole new era of of what the the country hating what you're doing to it <laughs> it's astounding me I like I say this I'm surprised David Patterson took the position he did which is yeah. I, I actually I'm pleasantly surprised with David Patterson who was I uh, saying look let's get this out we'll meet find a better place right. for it yeah. you know do you think um. Nobody told him he was talking to a ruler, but I mean, the fact was, he still no made an him. effort. No one heard him say it. No, oh that, my God. that was good. I think that's why the New York Times kept attacking Patterson. As far as the Democrats go, he's actually fairly reasonable. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I just, I want to have a seminar to teach Democrats what courage is, because both Bloomberg and Obama, you know they were advised, oh, this is going to be so brave, you're going to be so good. Stand in front of a group of Muslims and tell them, at the Ramadan dinner, no less, tell them you want a mosque at ground zero. So he gets a standing ovation, he brags about the standing ovation, and then five minutes later... Oh, I wasn't saying anything about the no, mosque. No, no, that wasn't the mosque. No, I didn't say it. I wasn't talking about it. I didn't say where. So the first time we get cowardice masquerading as courage, and the second time we get cowardice masquerading as principle. Yeah, yeah. But it's still cowardice. <laughs> you think There's... he's afraid of, of, of uh, Muslims not liking him or of appearing Islamophobic? Like Obama, is he is he afraid of appearing like that he's, that he's uh, against Islam, or is, or is he actually just afraid of... Uh, Actually, being you understand what I'm saying? Is he? I do, but I don't even think it gets to that level of. Yeah, what's I his seriously, if for we this? go and I would so recommend this as a little field trip for your radio show. Send, ooh, Jim, you'd be good at this. You got to send a man on the street and just just start asking people questions at Zay bars, and I'm telling you, they will all say, "Oh no, I think a mosque at Ground Zero is fine." Yeah. You are yeah. dealing with crazy people. It's like they're like ACLUers. <laughs> and Timothy Dolan came out again. I was also surprised that the, uh, he's the Archbishop, I think, in New York, came mm -hmm. out and said that he thinks, he, he, he talked about the convent by, uh, what, Auschwitz? Yeah. And sometimes you have to. The Pope stepped in. How about one Islamic leader step in and go, we understand we have the legal right, but it's in poor taste. Oh, Let's stop. be sensitive right. and move it. You're a crazy person. You know how, what a way long way that would go? Sounds happen. way too logical. You're right. It does None sound logical, and it won't <laughs> happen. It really does. Any time that question has been posed to any Muslims that I've seen on the news and the chat shows and everything this else, morning we were they to will this. avoid Fox. that. Fox, they will right. instantly turn to... The legal right of uh, right. religion and how it's in the Constitution of freedom all, of religion. We all understand and it's that like part we, of the we argument. Know, right, no one's right. denying the fact that you can do it. Yes. The, the, the thing people are upset with is the fact that you are doing it. <laughs> yes. There's a difference. We were watching this morning, and you actually pointed that the guy was. They asked him about like uh, putting it there and being in poor taste, and he just avoided the question. Avoided it. And, yeah. And, and went to legal. It's like no one's questioning your legal right. right. We know you have the right. That's why it would be a nice thing for you not to do. But right. that's their answer to it, and, and no one's arguing that point. <laughs> right. They're answering the thing no one cares about. <laughs> yeah. We understand our Constitution. We understand that there is a right for them to build the, the thing there. But yeah. why are you doing it? Don't you understand it's insensitive? <laughs> well, the Founding Fathers wouldn't have thought insensitive. <laughs> All right, here he goes again. Uh, they just don't understand. You could also legally put a dildo fucking factory there, but you don't, you don't want to do that. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, Obama, and I said this yesterday, the problem with Obama is, is liberals don't think that he's, because they're, really, they're closet racist, a lot of them, he's an elitist, and he's an intellectual snob, mm -hmm. and they don't think that a black guy can be a snob. Right. He is. He is an elitist guy. Yes. He thinks in an elitist way. That's not realistic. That's not being in touch with the American right. people. He's so Everyone's against it. And he's so surrounded by the people that are exactly like that yes. they pat each other i could just imagine him and pelosi and ever just patting themselves <laughs> on the back going we're doing things we're changing the not looking at the public going stop it <laughs> what are you doing to us i like nancy pelosi I can't even joke. <laughs> I couldn't even say it and finish. Well, now, she, uh, she suggested now, we saw this on the news today, that uh, she suggested that we start looking into people uh, that are uh, against the mosque and where this money is coming from. Oh, yeah. Be no, they want to send all of us to Guantanamo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, just set all the um, combatants, the enemy combatants free, <laughs> and put people that are maybe contributing a little money to the other side uh, right. in Guantanamo. <laughs> it really does amaze me the uh, stupidity that goes on and the elitism uh, uh, on on the uh, yeah. the left. It's it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. There's no one in the room to say no, not yeah, what you, Not a good idea. What are you doing? How radically left is Carvel? Uh, Carve, I always say his name wrong. James Carvel. I, I know. I always do that. Carvel. Um, creepy face, James. We'll call him. <laughs> How is he real? Because he seems like a bright guy. He's not a dumb guy. I mean, how far left is he? I can't tell because I can never understand what he's saying. <laughs> so who yeah, knows? The, that guy there asking and got him his own kids. Thank you. What do you guys do? I'm on the What you talking about? You guys to me. <laughs> what? That's exactly what did right. you just say? And by the way, if you look up transcripts on Nexus, more than anyone else who has ever guest on TV. <laughs> Unintelligible. <it's>, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Do you actually look up transcripts? That's what we need to do. We don't yeah. do our homework with anything. Oh, <laughs> knee jerk. You want to go through idiots transcripts? Fuck that. <laughs> you do hey, did you, uh, jerk idiots. Did you uh, watch Keith Overman's mosque thing? Uh, <gasps> the special comments? Yeah, I oh. love when he does his special comments. Of course, I linked to it on my webpage. It was, it was, I, I, I set the TiVo machine you, for that one. It's you realize astounding. it's on YouTube and you, you can't even fucking comment on his piece? He's got no a comments, disabled comments. comments yeah. He disabled yeah, the fucking brave. comments that's on an issue where everyone has a lot to say. He's a douchebag. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. I and that whole Overman. mosque issue. I mean, I was watching that special comment thinking, the mosque at Ground Zero, it's like... We've designed a pompous douchebag trap. And, you know, you call the pompous douchebag um, exterminator over, and he lays out the glue traps. Okay, we're going to put a mosque Here at ground go. zero, and right-wingers are against it. And you wake up in the morning, and, oh, look who's stuck, stuck in the glue. It's Keith Oberman. <laughs> It's the pompous douchebag, douchebag trap. <laughs> it's amazing how people come out. And they, uh, there's a great article in the Post today about uh, some, some editorial about how if you would have just, nothing has happened there. Nothing has been built. It's an embarrassment. Yeah, Nine yeah. years later, yeah, and it's fucking nothing. And they blame me. A lot of them are blaming Pataki, saying that whole contest. But that was already oh, two thousand six. Yeah, now that we're, was a few you're years. You're looking in. back a ways. Also, uh, on on September twelfth, two thousand one. Do you honestly think if you went out and asked anybody, should we build a mosque? <laughs> like the rubble is still smoking. Yeah. Do you honestly think people would be like, yeah, we should be tolerant to the Muslim? How do people? Just forget the, the, the horror of that day, right. of the 11th, and think that on the 12th people would feel any better right. about it. Right, right, or years later. And by the way, you remind me from, Keith, from the Pompous Douchebag special comment, yeah. one hilarious moment of it was when he indignantly points out that no, no one has done anything with this building since... 2001 and then and then you know sort of sort of slips in because it was destroyed in the crash <laughs> <laughs> in the attack on the world trade center yeah. some of the plane fell through the building he right. just slips that in incidentally like you're not going to notice <laughs> yeah oh it's not really that close to the site really <laughs> it was hit by the plane <laughs> yeah dunce I can't stand listening to uh, him ranting on this. Uh, John Stewart's another one who, on, on The Daily Show, he just started talking about and really bashing uh, the Republicans' stance on this thing and getting behind the liberals that, you know, uh, this is uh, Constitution again, says that he should be able to build this, blah, 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 blah. Uh, how about we go back to uh, September 11th and the, the weeks after when, on his show where he's just weeping. 
weeping on his right. shelf, crying about what happened to the towers right. and everything. And uh, apparently he forgot too. I got everyone just forgets. Not like, everyone. No, no. <laughs> I have not forgotten. I have a, a, such disdain for uh, 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 for the religion itself. I'm sorry. Uh, whenever I hear. This is a peaceful religion that is being <laughs> marred by these uh, Islamic extremists. I've not seen any of the peaceful part. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come out. Show me. Be, be a vocal against what's going on. Be peaceful. Let me see that it's not this archaic, 